previously on Van Turismo. Up around the corner, yeah. And so there we go, Van Turismo begins. Happy Sunday everyone. We're coming to you live from, well not live I suppose, but we're coming to you from Dawlish Warren. So it's Sunday today, so I think the last time we recorded was probably Wednesday. But we've just had loads of filming to do, loads of editing to do, loads of writing to do and stuff like that. So just had a couple of days off of filming live, but today's our last day in the UK before we had to France so we'll have a little walk down to the beach and stuff like that so just so you can see where the sea is <laughs> ah, there's folks in that surfing in it just had to use the 360 as like CCTV <laughs> Lisa's lost the uh, like the wind deflector part of the of the microphone, so we had to just check whilst we were in the hype shop. And she didn't have it when she walked in, so I had to retrace the straps. Unfortunately, I've managed to uh, <laughs> managed to find it. It's there, which is good. Is it wet? That's absolutely soaked. So a little while ago, I put a post on Twitter and doing a poll and a vote about picking one of us to go in the sea. So unfortunately, my plan's like it's me that's been stitched up. So. Uh, True to my words, I'm just about to derobe myself. I'm going to put a, a clip over the top just so you can see what the weather is right at this very second, uh, and I'm going to go and go in the sea. But I'm going to try and take you with the with, with the 360 so you can see what it's like firsthand. It was then time to put on the dry robe, walk down the steps to make the lonely, lonely walk into the English Channel. the one not this one the next one some pre-travel chores out the way so what we've done is we've done a full load of washing so any clothes that we've worn this week we've got them in the the dryers at Cofton tumble dryers on here are amazing and um, we've also put the bedding in as well that we've got on the rock and roll bed it's not been washed for a while so as you can see here we've got our outdoor revolution I think it's a camp star 400 or something like that it's one hell of a sleeping bag um, and then it's just a case of just trying to get everything done ready for tonight. So I say, what I don't want to be doing is in the morning tomorrow, on Monday, the day be well, on the day of going to Portsmouth, there's, there's a whole load of chores and jobs and getting stuff done. I just don't fancy it. So I'd rather stay up late tonight and just get everything done um, so that tomorrow it's just a case of wake up, maybe we're going to have some breakfast in the calf and then get off on our way. So annoyingly seem to find ourselves in exactly the same situation. We've left everything to the last minute um, and we've got a whole camper van full of stuff. Uh, so it's just back to the drawing board really. We've pulled up onto the car park. I'll show you that. 
That's like this little car park, bio park. Uh, and it's just a case of, I've just said, like, we're not moving from here until we've got a place for everything. Because, like I say, me not wanting to have stuff on the floor, this is the polar opposite of me not wanting to have stuff on the floor. It's just so you can see the scale of the problem. That stuff, um, with the exception of the dry robes, I can't believe how much space they take up. I'm pretty okay with where that's going to go, but I'm just trying to find where on earth I'm going to put all this stuff, really. And I'm all ready about here. So I guess this is just going to have to do for now. Uh, I think the easiest way to say space was going to be clothes and halving clothes and stuff like that. I think we've got way too much. Um, but that's that's what it is. I've got some floor space. I'm obviously down on sitting space and stuff like that. But I just, there's, no, there's no more space. That Literally everything is pressed in and forced in. So we'll just have to just make the most of the situation as it is. So that's us on the road now. So we are, it's about a three and a half hour drive now to Portsmouth International Harbour. So it says we're gonna arrive at about four o'clock, but ideally I'd like to get to a Tesco's before and fill up with diesel. Try and find a B&M or a Home Bargains if we can, so I can get some super noodles and, and all that sort of stuff, you know, the absolute essentials. good so far wee man's asleep he's had a challenging morning but we're uh, we're on the way to the the harbour so in theory as of now or as of like, maybe 20 minutes ago as a family airport on the left bay big planes uh, as of 20 minutes ago as a family of three we now officially live in a short wheelbase for transit that's van life baby what you believe uh, what are you going to worry about? Then you can make sure you're okay, you know what I mean? Do what I'm like. I'm your mother, it'd be ridiculous if I was worrying. Yeah. Well, like I say, well, you know, we'll be absolutely fine. I know you will. I do know you will. Just a shame we can't um, find a way to lock the doors whilst we're asleep. That's the only thing that's stressing me out. In the camper. Service, you can't, can't you? No, of course you can't, because you're inside it. It's not like a car when you're outside it. So we'll just have to set like little traps or whatever, a bit like Home Alone. <laughs> I'm winding you up, Mum. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Honestly, you are pathetic. Yes, something else. Oh. Yeah, no, it'd be fine. We can lock the van from the inside. And like I say, we'll be staying on like. Uh, so we wouldn't stay anywhere on our own. We'd always make sure that there's other campers there and all that sort of stuff. So we'll be absolutely fine. Yeah. Well, don't like send me a text every single morning. Okay? Uh, well, we'll FaceTime you so you can see the wee man, so you can listen to him squawk. Yeah, go on. Hey, you just think he, 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 he might, uh, his first word might be a French word. It might be like, oh, 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 oh wee, wee, wee. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, it's so exciting. Yeah. It's amazing. Very good. Oh, well, ring you when you get to the pool. Yeah, well, we're due to arrive. We're due to arrive at four. Oh, Jesus, I've got to get off here. Whoa. Um, we've, uh, we're due to arrive at four o'clock, Mother. At the right. Okay, then. Uh, but like all right. All right. Well, right. Yeah. Steady. yeah, all right. All right. Love you. Love you. Speak to you in a bit. We then settled into our chairs and started making our way from Cofton to Portsmouth International Harbour. pit stop so we stopped off at Dorchester which is just off the 835 he's just woke up slobbering his head off I'm gonna fill up with diesel get some calprofen and Eurofen and try and get some teething crystals and then make our way to Portsmouth we're about an hour and a half away see you soon I was actually quite surprised at how pretty this Tesco's was in Dorchester far far nicer than the one in Trent Vale
Oh, here we go. Yes. Sorry. And even it's like, where is the baby? But he loves it, trust me. <laughs> this five or six? Number five. Oh, you're joking. No, it's not. <laughs> Floor six. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. I don't want to go. I'll get out. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Oh. Here we go. What room number are we? Eight, eight four or two. Eight four. Oh, we're just behind you. Okay. Maxine Muthra. What's that on the door? This is a bit cheeky, isn't it? Uh oh. This has got the single bed. Uh oh! Woohoo! Oh no. Very sad. I what that is. That's what I'm looking forward uh -oh. to. What? Did you bring your thing What bring your thing out? Just get the license bottles. Oh no, we've got clean bottles. <sighs> you told me that again. Ladies and gentlemen, Whoa! Oh, thank you for your That's what that means. Holy moly. And this is what is meant by the calm before the storm. So just as we'd left Portsmouth Harbour, the moon was shining and the glare off the water was absolutely fantastic. But once we'd got out into open water, it was absolutely dreadful. It was, it was one of the, well, it was the single worst ferry experience that I'd ever, ever had in my whole life. And just to try and demonstrate how much the boat was swaying, this was a curtain in the bar area. At one point I was lying in bed and the sway of the boat was making me nearly fall out of bed. And just as I was about to fall out of the bed, the sway would then pull me back in. It gave me such a horrendous headache and made me feel like absolute crap. side of the road, right on side of the road. Well, to be fair, we could do with getting caught at customs for 15 minutes just so we can get postcodes in, sat navs and what do France use for postcodes? Uh, it'll be, I, know, I think it's like just numbers, maybe a region. Yeah, right on side. I mean they have postcodes, they just look different to ours. 
Jesus. I've got a storage box of about 35 kgs in it here. <sighs> yeah, so you're travelling on your side of the road. Matt, what? You're travelling on your side of the road, so you're yeah. at the curb on your side yeah, of the road. Yeah, but that's what people say, bumps to the curb. Well, babe, it was worth getting taken a while to get on yesterday for how quick we got off this morning. Babe. Look, the passport should be needed. Is that going to be me? Yeah, your side. Bonjour. Morning. Morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. You live in UK? Yeah. yeah. What are you doing I'm never quite sure what it is when it comes to customs, be it at a port, be it at an airport, but there's just something that always makes me incredibly anxious. And this 52 seconds was one of the longest 52 seconds of my life. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank you, you too. Bye. Bye. Merci. Fucking culture vulture. And after all the stress of the ferry, it was as simple as that. We were now in France. So we start making our way south through France on our way to La Rochelle. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you on the next video. We love you all.